Hello everyone, this is the Shawnee again. This is an updated video of my solar panel system. I've changed quite a few things uh, since the last video. I put a solar panels on the house. It used to be just temporary outside on a garden shed. So that's the two solar panels now on the house. And now inside I've got a Zentrax power charge controller. So I've got the, the solar panels on the house, which is through there. I've got the two two cables coming down. One of them, both of them are coming through through the fuses box here. The two to the left uh, is coming through the the hundred hundred watts panel, twelve volts, and then the the other two to the right there. There's a disconnect for the 24 volt panel, 120 watts, and then further from there, the 12 volt uh, solar panel is going straight straight into this um, grid tie inverter, 300 watts. This one I bought it from China. As you can see, it's it's working. It's uh, sending power further from here through a power cord straight into this straight into the power point to the house grid and as you can see it's putting out about 80 watts um, into the house and that's pretty much about one of the panels so straight in the fuse box from there into the inverter the inverter straight uh, the grid tie inverter from there straight into the power point the second, the second panel, which is a 24 volt, then is going through the fuse box, from the fuse box into the power charge controller. As you can see, it's charging at the moment and uh, charging the battery bank now. From there, I added these two extra two fuses, the 30 amp fuses, which further they're going straight here they're charging the batteries so now I've got four deep cycle batteries that's my battery bank now it's uh, the battery bank I've got so each battery is rated at 12 volt 150 amp hour now I've got connected each two of them in um, parallel and then in series each uh, both couples in series so I have 20 still 24 volt by about 300 amp hour together no more car batteries as in the previous video and from here then from the battery bank I've got a positive going into this switch here and from this switch here then this is a four-way switch I have it's at the moment it's on off position I have position one position two and both now when I put it on position one activates the second grid tie inverter which takes the power from the battery bank 24 volt as you can see, see starting pumping the power to the grid the second one as well it's going faster and faster and I've got the second meter here to the left it's going up 170, 180 it's going normally up to 220 watts 230 and from here this one as well it's going straight uh, straight in the power point to the grid now the second the second position for this for this switch I can either I can switch it off switch it on position two now position two now I get power uh, going into this from the batteries into this just the normal inverter 24 volt 240 volt uh, from uh, 
DC to AC. You can turn it on. It tells me that the battery bank voltage is 24.3, 24.2 volts. Uh, from here, we are connected a power board just at the bottom here, and an extension cord going to another second power board. Uh, so at the moment I can, I, I've got connected a, a TV and a, and a fridge to it and a fan stereo a few lights so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, the battery, the battery is much better this one's they hold the power and it never went below uh, the charge so the inverter never, never stopped as when before I was only getting about a few hours of power I'm pretty happy with these batteries here. Now, this switch, so that was position one. I had connected the the inverter, the grid tie inverter. Position two, the the inverter just for garage use. And then I've got the position. If I put it on both, then. I've got power going to the grid through the inverter, the grid tie, and then the normal inverter gets power as well. So I can use a few other things like this fan here. And just turn it off, I'm a bit hot. And yes, yeah, so I can use both um, the grid tie inverter and the inverter, they get power in the same time. As you can see, the normal inverter, it's working, it's putting power to the fan and a few other things. And as well, I still get the 210 watts going to the grid. So at, as we stand now, I've got about 272, 80 uh, what's going into the grid which is I'm pretty happy with that I saw the grid the actual meter spinning backwards as I saw so to other people here on YouTube so I'm pretty impressed with uh, how it works the one other feature that this 20 I saw to this uh, 24 volt 24 volt inverter I know this is much better for the battery life and as well uh, it comes with this sensor it's got a remote a remote control I can turn it off and on remotely which is pretty nice so there you go 300 over over 300 watts going to the grid next project is just to add a few more panels on the house and I'm pretty set so I can have a break now. Thanks everyone for watching the previous video and the comments helped me improve this system now that I've got. More comments are welcome um, for this system, so improvements or any, any sort of comments, criticism is welcome as well. Thank you everyone for watching, have a great day, I'll keep watching your videos get a few more ideas. Alright, have a good day.